Three minutes and go. Drag up coffee, the unofficial sponsor of Dennis Guerrero's life. So as you guys can see, this was brewing for the whole week. This is Donut Shop, Texas Pecan. This was full this morning. I'm on my second cup. Uh, it's birthday time, but doesn't mean I can't prepare. Uh, I'm on this vegetable kit, guys. Uh, I know it's healthy for you. I know it's good for you. Um, these containers got from Costco, and I'm really bummed. I was hoping I only bought a box of them uh, last year. Uh, I was hoping they'd come out with them again because they're super handy. Like as much as I food prep and I commute to work and I'm there, like we were talking about it yesterday, my coworker got held over and he's like, oh man, you know, nothing's open. I don't have Grubhub, da da da. And I'm like, man, I go, I bring enough food for two weeks at a time. Like that's, that's my MO. And uh, I, uh, I'm smart with it. Like I'm not going to mess around and. If I know I'm going to be at work, I want to make sure that I have enough food. And like I said, I'm going back to potentially three or four doubles. And uh, I've got to get ready. Like, i uh, got hummus coming. Uh, Angie, my wife, she actually talked to me today and said, hey, can you mention my name? <laughs> so she's not the mother of my kids. Uh, which is a big step. You know, she, uh, she knows that I'm really trying to do this content thing <clears throat> and create, and she's trying to be supportive. I told her, you know, I may sound crazy, but one day I'm, this is going to be the main source of income and my career will be secondary. Yes, I am drying my carrots because I don't want them wet and get all moist and moldy inside my container. Uh, I'm a weirdo like that, but, uh, yeah. So I'm getting my carrots ready for the week. Uh, you know what I noticed while I've been gone is that, you know, I like to be able, when I'm at work, like this last week, we had a couple uh, digester uh, get set, upset, which means they're either burping or we actually had one overflow, two overflow at once. It was pretty crazy. It was a, a, sea, a sea of poop. And uh, hence why the really dirty... It's funny is my, my new supervisor I'll be working with is like, bro, go put a Tyvex on. I'm like, well, you know, poop happened. I had to show up. And he's like, no one's going to get mad at you and be like, where's Guerrero? Go put a Tyvex on. I'm like, that's just not my MO, man. I, I was always taught if, if my supervisor is pushing a broom or a squeegee, in this case, then I did something wrong. And I had a supervisor I was working with the other day. He wanted to give me the squeegee. And I'm like, finally, I'm like, bro, let me have the squeegee. Like, and the funny thing is, right after he gave it to me, the squeegee broke. I'm like, if I wouldn't have any, if I didn't have bad luck at that time, I wouldn't have any luck. So, yes, I'm drying my carrots. And uh, I'm going to get ready. I got to shave. I got to take mini mini to get his hair cut. Uh, I'm excited, man. I'm excited for the time off. I'm excited to spend time with my family. I'm excited for the 49er game today. Uh, I'm excited. I got to spend time with my dog yesterday. I combed her out. She, you know, what's funny is she needs to get uh, groomed, which will probably, I'm going to see if my groomer can fit, uh, fit her in on Monday. I'll drop her off in the morning after work. But, uh, like, she has this, she has, like, wave hair. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, uh, my my brothers from work, you know, I one of, this one kid, he has awesome hair. Like, he has these waves that, I mean, it looks like, they look like they're in movement, right? And uh, I was talking to my, my friend Bobby. And he goes, man, I remember my waves used to look like that. And Bobby always has a do uh, do rag on. And I was like, man, I get jealous of the way your guys' hair looks. It's just like, bam. And when I came home and I combed Hope's hair, she had waves. Like, her, it looked like her fur was moving. It was pretty cool. But, you know, I digress. I'm excited. I'm drying my carrots to get them ready. Because what I noticed, uh, especially when we're, like, there's, don't get me wrong, there's times when you're at work, you do your rounds, you got an hour or two before you got to go back out. Or there's times like this last week where you're literally on the go. Like I, a couple of 16 hour shifts, I didn't get to eat lunch until I was well into my second shift because it's just go, go, go. Like we get paid for eight hours. As you see the coffee's kicking in because I'm talking like a mile a minute. Uh, we get paid for eight hours. And that means we sometimes, you know, you grab lunch or you grab a snack when you're on the go because like you got to get out to the next you know, quote unquote, not emergency, but the next situation, you know, as long as the planning, flooding, anything else is workable. And the reason I know that, because the plant flooded, that's how I got my job. Plant flooded, and I think they got approved for more, more operators and more trainees to the city budget, and boom, in comes Operator Guerrero. 
Because you know what? I'm an operator, baby. So my carrots are done. It sounds corny, but yes, I got carrots. All right. Now, you know, like I was telling you guys earlier, I love uh, gizzards, right? No, I'm not gonna cut gizzards and you guys go, ah. like a lot of people don't like gizzards, but that's okay. But I love broccoli. Like I like all of broccoli. I like the stock, I like the heads, I like everything. So I cut up some broccoli. And I'm sure someone's gonna say, oh, you're not cutting it right. Well, I cut what works for me. I just like chop it off. And to me, because I, I like crunch. I don't know about anybody else, but I'm a cruncher. I love crunch. And I'm actually, if all my, my foodies, I'm looking for a healthy alternative to snack, I mean, to crackers, uh, chips, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I came home yesterday and I was really hungry and I had a couple of chips and my stomach got violently sick to where like I had to throw up. Uh, so my body is adjusting to this new way of living. Uh, I was looking for a healthy creamer, meaning one that is lactose free, uh, sugar free. And, you know, I started this whole kick because I saw Bunny, Dumb Blog Podcast, shout out. She had a couple of people on, Danny Wilson, the author to Wild and Well, who's a holistic nurse practitioner. And then she had, um, I can't remember his name, I wanna say Dr. Wu, but I don't think that's right, uh, about uh, who is a holistic plastic surgeon, not that I plan to get plastic surgery other than my, my skin removal. And talking about what we eat and what we congest, our digest is what our body consumes and our bodies are made to heal themselves. And so I've been on this kick where no processed sugar uh, and no uh, bad carbs. I've been taking my supplements and I'm noticing a difference. Like I haven't had to use a stool softener, which has been a daily staple since I had my gastric bypass. Uh, I've just been rocking and rolling and I'm feeling so much better. Uh, I feel like my knees aren't as uh, swollen as they used to be. And that's a huge thing for me because due to the fact that I was so overweight for so long, my knees have been a, bone of a point of contention. But I am rocking and rolling and I am gonna stick to this, man. So if you are out there and you are a foodie, but you are on the alternative to the health, are you on the health kick with me? And you have a good alternative to uh, chips, crackers, something like that, please let me know because I love them. But I can't allow that stuff in my body anymore. So as you guys see, I am cutting up my broccoli. I am getting ready for the week and I am excited. I go, like I said, I go back for another, uh, another shift uh, tomorrow. Hopefully, fingers crossed, the Niners will win today and I will do a double and then do a double Tuesday, Wednesday. And then that's pretty much my time off, like request offs. For the next couple of weeks um, and I'm gonna try to grind man I'm gonna be on the grind mode and just kind of rock and roll so guys I know this is a long video but I'm trying to keep up with you guys as you guys know when I am at work I don't do content uh, I, I will post like stuff I find interesting that I feel are relevant to our mission but as far as my videos I'm keeping to my word and not posting just out of respect for the job. But don't think, I don't think about you guys. I appreciate you. And uh, let's just keep rocking and rolling. Share our message of hope, love, and healing. Make the most of your day. Embrace your greatness. The world needs you. I need you. And I appreciate you guys. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. It's priceless. It's free. And I promise we'll change the world when we're random act of kindness.